that we find ourselves seeking the light of ikhlaq, iman, and ibadah. These pillars of Islamic faith not only light up our paths to success and also serve as the cornerstone for our spiritual journey. Let's begin with ikhlaq, the noble character traits that define our interactions with others and shape our moral compass. The Quran reminds us in Surah Al-Qalam, verse number 4, and indeed you are of a great الحمد لله رب الأرض والسماء خلق آدم فعلمه الأسماء وتجلت رحمته لعباده فتولى الرسل والأنبياء أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله ليس له أشباه ولا أنداد ولا شركاء وأشهد أن it calls upon us to approach our prayers, fasting, charity, and other acts of worship with a, with a deep sense of spiritual connection and devotion to Allah. Saration in Ibadah reminds us, reminds us that our faith is not just a set of rituals but a comprehensive way of life that should remain every aspect of our being. Iman, the belief in the unseen, lies at the core of our faith. Saration in Iman urges us to cultivate unwavering belief and conviction in Allah, His messengers, the day of judgment, and other fundamental tenets of Islam. It requires us to pure our faith through knowledge, reflection, and righteous deeds, even in the face of challenges and uncertainty. Ikhlaq, or moral character, is the manifestation of our faith in action. Saturation in Ikhlaq compels us to embody the noble virtues and ethics taught by Islam and Holy Quran, such as honesty, compassion, and humility. And in patience, it emphasizes the importance of it emphasizes the importance of treating others with kindness, respect, and fairness, regardless of their backgrounds or beliefs. In conclusion, salvation and being iman and akhlaq is is not just a theoretical concept, but a practical transformative approach to Muslims. It challenges us to interrogate our faith into every aspect of life, guiding our actions, shaping your attitudes and fostering positive interactions within our community. Let us try to embody saturation in all what we do, drawing strength and kindness from our faith to become beacons of light and source of inspiration in the world. Thank you. It was beautiful and uh, believe me that uh, me being an Islam uh, tutor, uh, Mr. Tariq and Ms. Mamuna here, Ms. Ms. Nadia Osim over here, the, the honorable judges, I would not hesitate to say that I have learned a lot from this day. Liberation and success in the hereafter. But how do we achieve this salvation? The path is paved with three guiding lights: Iman, which is our faith. Ibada, which is worship, and akhlaq, which is our moral character. Firstly, Iman forms the bedrock of our salvation journey. It is the unwavering belief in Allah, His angels, the holy books, the messengers, Yom al Qiyamah, and the divine decree. This faith isn't merely intellectual, it spreads our hearts and guides our actions. Secondly, Ibada is the expression of our devotion to Allah. The five daily prayers, fasting during Ramadan, giving charity, and performing Hajj for those who are able. These are not mere rituals, but acts of submission and connection with the Divine. Through consistent Ibadah, we strengthen our faith and demonstrate our gratitude for Allah's mercies. Finally, we come to Akhlaq, the embodiment of good character. This encompasses honesty, compassion, justice, patience, and forgiveness. It's about treating others with respect, as Allah instructs us in the Quran. By cultivating good character, we not only elevate ourselves but contribute to a just and harmonious society, reflecting Allah's mercy on us. The path to salvation is a continuous journey, not a destination. There will be stumbles and moments of weakness, but by constantly seeking to strengthen our iman, fulfilling our ibadah with sincerity, and striving to embody good akhlaq, we inch closer to achieving najat. May Allah guide us all of this blessed path and, and achieve ultimate salvation in the hereafter. To see all of you here today. As Muslims, we are entitled to believe in life and death, in the fact that this life is temporary. One cannot help but fathom as to why we were brought into this world. Uh, but again, as Muslims, we are to believe that our duty in this world is to worship Allah Almighty. 
أسد سورة الجن وما خلقت الجن والإنس إلا ليعبدون Moreover, achieving salvation Our deen puts very heavy emphasis on the term salvation Its meaning, preservation or deliverance from harm, ruin or loss But it's not just some abstract concept In fact, it is one that, it is, one that is rooted into many different roots and relates to most of our religious concepts. Primarily, salvation can only be achieved through Iman, Akhlaq, and Ibadah. Iman, or faith, refers to the soul of the heart and the body. It is something that no one but Allah can have an idea of, as He is the All-Knowing, as said in Surah Qaf, وَلَقَدْ خَلَقْنَا الْإِنسَانَ وَنَعْلَمُ مَا تُوَسْوِسُ بِهِ نَفْسُهُ Faith is the firm belief in a truth, where when people have such belief and confidence, they submit themselves to that truth. Iman consists of six pillars, six truths. Those being belief in Allah, His angels, His books, His messengers in the last day, and in destiny, the good and the bad of it. Akhlaq in the sense is what makes up a person's character, encompassing moral values such as kindness, honesty, patience, forgiveness, and other essential qualities that make up Muslims' identity. It in turn strengthens a person's relationship with Allah as well as other people. To round it off, a Muslim cannot possibly achieve salvation without the necessary devotion and determination to ibadah, or worship in other words. Acts of worship, worship such as our five daily prayer, fasting in the holy month of Ramadan, giving zakat are only a handful of, the, of the examples of our duties as Muslims. Through consistent devotion, to ibadah, we can not only strengthen our faith, but also prosper in the current life and the afterlife. Thank you for listening. Islam. Salvation. Salvation in Islam is the ultimate goal for every believer. It's about finding peace, contentment, and eternal happiness in the presence of the Almighty Allah SWT. In salvation, it's not just about avoiding punishment, but it's also about earning the pleasure and mercy of Allah SWT. A journey of a soul towards God filled with love, devotion, and submission. One of the key principles of salvation in Islam is the belief in one God, Allah, and following His guidance as revealed in the Holy Quran and through the teaching of Prophet Muhammad. This means living a life of riches, compassion, and justice. Islam teaches salvation is attainable through faith and good deeds. Believing in the oneness of Allah and following His commandments are essential for salvation. However, it's not just about the ritual. It's about sincerity and genuine devotion. Another crucial aspect of salvation in Islam is seeking forgiveness. We all make mistakes, but Islam emphasizes the importance of repentance and seeking Allah's forgiveness. Through sincere repentance, one can attain salvation and can be granted mercy and pardon. Moreover, Islam teaches the importance of helping others and spreading kindness. Acts of charity, compassion, and generosity are highly rewarded and play a significant role in attaining salvation. In Islam, salvation is not restricted to select a few. It's open to everyone regardless of their background, race, or status. As long as it is often achieved through faith in Allah, following His commandments, and seeking His forgiveness. Usually salvation refers to Iman, Akhlaq, and Ibadah, which is an essential aspect of every Muslim's life. For example, Iman is a deep belief in Allah and living according to Islamic principles. It involves believing in five pillars of Islam and trusting Allah. It's a continued journey in growth and reflection which strengthens our Iman, bringing us peace and fulfillment. While on the other, on the other hand, Akhlaq or a good character is an important aspect of every Muslim. Uh, every Muslim is the moral and ethical values that we are encouraged to embody in our daily life. It encompasses traits such as kindness, honesty, patience, and humility, and compassion. The Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, the best of my nation is those with the best character. This signifies how our morals should be reflected through our speeches and actions, while ibadah consists of all acts of devotion and, obe and obedience to Allah. It's a way to express our love, gratitude, and submission to our Creator. It serves as a reminder for all of us to maintain the sense of humility and guidance. Through this act, we find peace, solace, and spiritual fulfillment. Believing in these all kinds of salvation is greatly reflected through our actions in our daily lives and our, our relationship to people. May we all strive for salvation by seeking Allah's guidance, living in a righteous life, and speaking good and, and spreading goodness and compassion in our interactions with others. Thank you.